Now we'll take a look at how we can add a new student to Maths Online using our parent login details. Say for example our youngest son Jonathan has just started kindergarten and we want him to start working through some mathematics. So we're here on the home page or the parent centre. If we move over to the right we've got the student section there. You can see we've already got three students registered. Now if we go to the top and click on this plus icon and then this pop-up appears. Now it's as simple as adding his name into the relevant boxes there. So let's put Jonathan's name in. Once we've done that, we move down here a little bit and click Generate Unique Username and Password. So there we have it, username there, password there, and he'll use that any time he logs into Maths Online. Now at this stage, it's important just to take a few moments just to go over with your kids how they can securely save these details. Maybe show them how to log in using Google Sign On or something similar. Because once we leave this page, that password becomes encrypted and we won't be able to access that anymore. Now if we move down here a little bit further, we can see that pass grade there and by default that's set to 80. Now you can change that if you want to, we might just leave that as is for the moment though. Now before we leave this pop-up, make sure we always move over here and click Save Changes. Now back here on the home page, we can see that Jonathan's been added. Obviously he's got no logins at the moment, we've only just registered him, so he hasn't quite had enough time to do any work yet. And if we move over here, click on this View Profile button, once Jonathan starts working his way through some lessons, completing questions and so on, it's on this page here that we'll be able to access any reports detailing his progress and results. Now if we move up towards the top and click the Edit Student button, and here we're able to make changes to many of Jonathan's details. So for example, if we click Edit here, you'll notice that we can see the username, but we can't see the password. Well, that's because, as I said, the password is encrypted, so we're not able to see that now. Now, if Jonathan does lose his password, well, you're able to reset that here. So you can just enter a new password and make sure you save it. Or alternately, if you just wanted to customise the login details, you could change the username or the password. Now just make sure as it says here, you always let your kids know if you change their login details. You want to make sure they're still able to log in and do their work. Now I'm not going to touch them at the moment though. So what I'll do is move up here, close that down. Now down here you can see we've got that pass grade. By default that's set to 80. Now after he's done a bit of work, I've decided that might be a little bit too high. So what I'm going to do is bring Jonathan's pass grade down to 75. And I've also got these attempts here. The moment that's set to 1, now that lets me know that if there's a worksheet attached to a lesson, Jonathan's only got to have one go at the worksheet before he gets to see the solutions. Now I've decided I want him to stick at it a little bit more than that, so I'm going to bump that up so he's got to have three goes at any sheets before he can see them. Now as always, any time you make any changes, make sure you move down here and click Save Changes before you leave this, and they'll be automatically updated.